What's up, what's up guys? It's your boy Juarmo. In today's video, we are gonna showcase the patch and what's coming up this week and next week. Hello guys, as most of you already know, I have a partnership with Aptoid. Aptoid is an application where you guys can buy packs and buy stuff in the game for much cheaper than the voucher or the Google Play Store. Aptoid is definitely the cheapest uh, purchase method out there especially when there are uh, savings is 5% off up to 10%. So there are a lot of 10% offs up to 20% as well. Uh, I want to re remind you guys, Aptoid is still the cheapest option. And I have my own code, GRMO5. It's actually right here. I really appreciate it if you use it. You help me support, uh, continue making content, uh, do what I love to do, entertain you guys, talk with you guys. Also, if anybody's interest, interested in a podcast with me, hit me up on Discord, guys. Don't be afraid. I'm really a nice guy. I'm not going to eat you. Said that, guys. Welcome back, guys. So first of all, we are going to talk about the new hero that's coming out, named after our Discord manager, Burness. Um, so I'm going to give my honest opinion on all heroes. Uh... I know in two showcases back, I gave some opinions about some heroes that I actually kind of regret giving. For example, Magdi, I was telling like a ah, game changer for poison teams. Yes, he is nice for poison teams, but definitely not a hero that would change your game. Especially now, for example, after Little Jack is out and for those other things. I'm just not using that guy. And I'll be honest, I regret feeding my legendary ice into him. But hey, sometimes you gotta do stuff to make stuff. So, Burness, Holy Light, Parliament, Attack Force, Star Blink, deal attacks damage to a single enemy, the attack has additional leech, okay. Second skill, counterattack three turns, increase self-attack for two turns, not bad, not bad. I would say some kind of a holder, Alina skill. Iron Mill, when Burness inflicts a kill, restores self HP and gains Fighting Spirit for one turn. Afterwards, X one turn immediately, Fighting Spirit, increase damage. So, when inflicting a kill... Okay, so basically against Guild Boss, he won't get this from what I read on the passive. Maybe on the exclusive, I didn't read the skills at all. Ultimate star combo, increase self-crit damage for two turns. Afterwards, the two stages of attack damage to a single enemy, additional inflict attack damage. This extra damage ignores defense. Okay, that's, that's interesting. inflicts ignores defense i mean from reading this he could be a brinhild deleter he could be a tank deleter i don't know the scaling so the scaling will tell it all if the scaling is gonna be bad if the scaling is gonna be 200 percent per attack i don't think i think he'll be shit if the scaling will be like 350 to 40 attack per per hit so let's say a total of 800. We have, a, we have enough heroes that deal over 1000 damage with skills. If this guy is going to have like... guy, If Burnus is going to have like 2 times 400, it's going to be huge. Pretty sure it's going to be huge. Level 1 uh, exclusive. Burnus extra 1 turn immediately after casting uh, Power of Starts. Well, Burnus has counterattack. His buffs cannot be removed. Okay, so he X this. Gets another turn. It's a little bit weird because he will only have a self-attack for one turn then in my opinion a little bit weird of exclusive but let's see maybe this is just like a four turn or three turn cooldown. and i can just cycle it level two base uh, burners basic attack and skill damage bonus based on attribute layers each time he granted fighting spirit okay when has five layers of attribute buffs the bonus reach maximum he can get 15 percent bonus at least okay but he does need to kill heroes right otherwise he will not get this passive so it's it's from in my, a little bit weird a little bit weird, I mean in, in PvE he's probably gonna be nice and in arena, okay, but if this scaling is not strong enough, he will first have to kill some carries or supports in arena to be able to one-shot a Brynhild to get stacks, so let's see exclusive 3, increase burns uh, basic attack damage, if his if the HP reduces by star blink, it's no more than 20% of the target's max HP burners gains one layer of starlight for one turn when he has one two or three layers of starlight blink will deal additional damage okay so he totally gets a, like a new uh, passive where his base attack attack will be dealing more damage interesting 
interesting hero. I don't know what to say on it on the first thing, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm pretty sure Burnus will get his, will pull this hero. I'm pretty sure he will go all in on this hero. I think he's even close to the pity, so he'll he'll get him for sure. And I'm most likely gonna showcase him with him in a video. Stay tuned for that. A new hero. A bride. She's, she looks like Morgana from League of Legends. Dakota, Eternal Sex, Support Blue. Really nice. Soul Wave. Use attack damage to an enemy with a chance to inflict poison. Okay, she's gonna be a poison hero. Soul Surge. Summons a Toxic Swamp that lasts for three turns among enemies. Extend the duration of poison by one turn when the Toxic Swamp exists and the enemy is inflicted with poison. Meanwhile, for every one layer of poison inflicted, there is a chance to inflict one layer of rose poison to the enemy up to 40 layers. Toxic swamp will disappear if the okay. So she will have some kind of a little jack passive, maybe. I don't know. Let's let's continue. Dakota is immune to all CC effects. When she is under basic attack. When she is under basic attack or skill attack, inflicts one layer to po rose poison on the attacker with a chance to reduce the target. Okay, this is nice. So if she gets attacked, she will inflict a layer of poison attack and she has a 50% chance to re Reduce the effect resistance. Ooh. <sighs> Scary. Soul Seal. Removes a layer of poison from an enemy and deals poison damage. For every one layer of poison removed, deals extra poison damage afterwards. For every four layers of rose poison owned by the target, there's a chance to convert them into one layer of poison for two turns. The conversion stop when there are less than four layers of rose poison. Ooh, this looks actually pretty solid. If you're running in with a Veronica, 10 stacks on the guild boss. I mean, maybe also a poison guild boss team will be available. I know there's gonna be like a guild versus enemy in the future. So maybe they're just like focusing, okay, make a HP burn guild boss team, make a bleed one, make a burn one, make a poison one. I don't know, but looks okay. Soul Surge, her second skill. Increase the allies. Okay, exclusive one is gonna be huge. Basically, a Nicholas exclusive one. Exclusive two. Reduce the direct damage dealt by enemies with poison to Dakota. Besides, when an ally Dakota dies, Dakota removes rose poison from all enemies and revives it. Ooh, a revive as well. Ooh. Soul Steel. Increase the allies. Brr. Man. This girl has a 40% ally speed buff a 40 percent ally attack buff stacks to deal x she looks pretty stolid guys i'm not gonna pull for her uh, i'll be honest i'm not gonna pull for burners either uh, my bet is gonna be on hull 9000 on this layer yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna pull for hull 9000 for sure and then the epic hidden wave defense blue olivia throws throw pike deals death damage according to the single enemy with a chance to reduce the target stack for by 20 turns, okay. Uh, increase the allies' attack speed for 30 cent by 20% for two turns and turn meter. Okay, not bad. The turn meter boost, hey, that's interesting. At the beginning of Olivia's turn, she will grant an ally with the lowest HP percent ally protection. We score, okay, that's really solid. Solid count, increase the allies' defense by 30% for two turns and grant ally a shield for two turns. I think this will go up to 60% with exclusives. Let's see. Increase the allies' turn meter by 8% additionally. I'm actually curious how about uh, how big this turn meter is going to be, but we are missing some turn meter heroes in, in the game, guys, for sure. Reduce the damage deal to an ally, with, okay, by 10%, really nice. Okay, yeah, increase the allies' defense by... Pretty pretty solid defense hero. I think she's going to be amazingly paired with Haley, and then most likely Marvel and two big damage dealers on the hidden wave. I'm excited. I'm excited to see her. I'm definitely excited to see her. Uh, let's talk about a little bit more about the patch. Let's talk a little bit more about the patch notes, guys. So the legend heroes, Burners, Dakota, Melia, Guhana, and Hull 9000. I'm going to pull for Hull 9000 personally because I do not have him yet. And I really want him. I think he's one of the best defense units after the change in the game. He still looks, in my opinion, really bad. I don't like his look, but... Hey, he's a really nice hero. Epic heroes, Olivia, Sivon, Mapka, Maya. Don't care about them. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, there's going to be a new event. Uh, and it's it says, like, the childhood is 
long gone, but memories of those unforgettable moments still linger. The relief, the moments of unbridled joy. Multiple events will be added for a limited time from the 29th of May until the 5th of June. So that's next week. Yeah, that's next week. Uh, there's going to be a sign-in where you get excellent runes, a regress potion, and the epic hero Lele, the exclusive hero Lele, that was on the uh, Paulin banner. So that's really nice. Uh, giant puppet. The world boss is available for a limited time. The top-ranked guilds will be awarded a special guild flag. Who I can't wait for that. Home Alone, Faction Abyss, Double Drop is available for a limited time. That's the most thing I'm excited for. Double Drop Faction tokens. It's going to be next week, so make sure you will have those 30 tokens stacked in your inventory. Uh, there will be like a limit on the event, like they said. So I don't think stacking like 500 tokens is worth, but there will be a cap. So, I mean, uh, going into the event with 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 30 tokens and some gems would definitely not harm anybody but definitely more information from my side later this week or next week when we get better information then the, another uh, event called intimate yeti is available for limited time. increase yeti's intimate legacy during the event to get common spending rewards which amongst contain a legend hero selection chest well that's interesting that is interesting. I'm not gonna. Sh I'm have no idea if it's gonna be free. It's gonna if it's gonna be that you have to pay, but I am definitely looking forward to that. And then we're gonna get a holiday pass, Umbrella Joy holiday pass, available for limited of time. That's probably the twenty dollar bags so where you get a couple of Supremes, a uh, purple eye, some wishes, and and some other stuff. Uh, some future adjustments. Now the exceeded stamina will be converted to diamonds based on the purchase price after the settled period of mini games of wheel event. Okay. That's that's good, I would say. I mean everything we get for free or more is better. Uh, adventure can now switch difficulty levels by clicking on the navigation bar. Okay, that's nice. Optimize beginner wish rules. One, there is a chance of obtaining different heroes are now displayed in columns. Uh, added a wish all button. Added a batch of unbridled joy packs. Okay, so there's going to be some some special packs, some other stuff. Uh, I'm excited, guys. Definitely on the double token. Uh, I'm going to definitely hoard some tokens for it. And my opinion is farm the thing that you can farm the best and the highest because it gives the be biggest drop rate as you can see here this will be all doubled this is guaranteed and i mean if you can farm this one you will get a 100 purple one but i still cannot beat it sadly but this is going to be definitely nice and is definitely going to be great for farming uh said that guys that was the the patch notes uh i don't know what to expect from the heroes we will see Friday. I'm going to showcase Burnus in the video with Burnus himself. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for the support so far. And see you guys in the next video.